how to add an image into your get response message message there's actually two different ways and I would just like to make this as easy on you as possible to avoid the headache and frustration hey everyone my name is Daniel Powley and I'm just here to give you a few little hints and tips today on just making your life a little bit easier with uh, your get response autoresponder when you're sending messages out to your list uh, the first way here is to just insert or edit an image from an outside source here so what I do is put my cursor where I want it to go and it pops open this box here so what I do is I go into here and all I did is a search for you know whatever the mind can, con can conceive and believe the mind can achieve and all I do here is uh, where is it copy image location and then I go back into my autoresponder paste it here and the image pops up down here it's good to give this an image description I'll just put Napole how do you spell that Napoleon there you go and now I just go down and uh, sorry this is a little bit oh there we go I can get it up there right into your screen insert and boom insert it and in order to insert a link just left click on it first right click on it and then insert edit link you can put whatever link you want in there um, the next way I would like to show you I have the same picture in my folder and I just I've already made a, up a video explaining how to upload videos to this folder so if you if you're not sure about that go check that one out um, I've already got this video uploaded in, into my folder here, so I just click on this. This is just grabbing an image from inside of GetResponse now. Nope, sorry, wrong image. That was my bad. My bad. That's not the actual image that I wanted to go to, so we'll open that folder up again, go to My Photos and Images, and boom, there's that same image there that uh, whatever the mind can uh, believe and achieve it can conceive it comes up pretty big here all you have to do is click on it once and you can downsize it just dr click and drag it right down to whatever size you want and same thing with this one as with the last one um, just left click on it once you can see the outside edge is highlighted here and then right click on it insert and edit link put whatever in here you want once you've actually got have a few have added a few links in here um, all you have to do is usually just type in an H and it comes up with a list of whatever links you've already put in here and then you know just just to as a little shortcut to save a little bit of time so you don't have to always be copying and pasting or typing in your the whole link address um, once you get a, a, a several common ones in here that you use on a fairly regular basis, like I said, all you have to do is type in the first letter of the link there and it'll pre-populate a whole list of links for you there. I've got several in there already. I've been doing this quite a bit. Anyway, so that's, uh, that's my tip for today. I hope that helps uh, a few people out there um, save a little bit of frustration. And... On a side note, uh, just to explain to you who I am and, and why I'm doing this, is uh, I've been learning and researching about home-based business for a while. I, I, a while back, I met up with, I actually over a period of time, I've met a great group of people and become involved with a great company and am now able to work from home. And fortunately, I was prepared because not too long ago, I got a phone call from the job that I had been at. I've been working as an electrician for at least eight or nine years, have uh, worked in all the different fields, uh, commercial, industrial, and residential, mostly residential. And uh, I thought I had a very secure job where I was working. It was a big plant building uh, remote camps for the oil and gas in industry, which is, as everybody knows, that's a major, major industry. And I was one of two electricians on the evening shift there and I just out of the blue there had been some rumors floating around that layoffs might be coming 
you know, we've heard these rumors before. They usually pop up every three to four months or whatever. I don't know if that's the same case where you are. But anyways, I had already been planning for a long time to escape the job life. And I was actually very thankful when that phone call came in. So, um, yeah, now I'm living in total control of my own life. Uh, I don't have a boss looking over my shoulder. I wake up when I want. Um, you know, I, I'm not, I'm a lot less at risk of, of hurting myself. How can I hurt myself at home? Um, I'm just responsible for me. You know, I don't have anybody else to, to uh, have to satisfy. I satisfy me and I satisfy those who I'm, who I'm get, putting myself out there to help. And that's all I'm trying to do here is, is offer some suggestions on how you can do things better in your life to help support your family, just to do better for yourself, live, live a bigger, bigger, better life. Uh, for some more, anyways, for some more info, uh, click the link below this video. Uh, it'll take you, once you enter your email address, it'll take you into a series of messages that you'll get over the next couple weeks. And also, there's a more detailed description below this video. You can hit uh, either of the down arrows at the bottom corner of the screen, and it'll bring up uh, the rest of this page that you're on for a more detailed description there and a couple more links for some more free info to help you make an informed decision on how you want to better your life. Anyways, take care. We'll see you on the next video somewhere or somewhere down the road. Maybe meet up in an event. Uh, it'd be great. The more people you can actually physically connect with, the better off you are. Um, take care for now, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.